in the center we're very lucky in bringing together scientists that are expert on intelligence and people's differences in intelligence and people that are expert in epidemiology which is the branch of medicine that looks at health and populations and that's been necessary because either one of those groups couldn't look at this comprehensively and the center has brought together as its members and as its collaborators people working in both of those areas so we have an integrated research group looking at how mental ability in youth affects health in middle and older age. Cognitive epidemiology is not a term you would hear in lots of different places. I think it's fair to say that we almost brought the area into existence by focusing on this unusual finding that when people are young, if they do a mental test, an IQ type test, that in later life will be associated with whether they get certain chronic diseases and how long they live. Now this topic has been taken up around the country and in other countries as well and everybody finds the same thing, that people that are brighter when they're young live longer and we're all trying to find out why this is but in fact it's only at the centre in the University of Edinburgh that we now have an organised research group working on this. In the Centre for Cognitive Ageing and Cognitive Epidemiology we've got about 50 odd researchers who are interested in the topics of the centre. Now they're almost all based at the University of Edinburgh we've got, but we've got some colleagues at the University of Glasgow, University of Southampton and University College London. And so we have research groups from around the world coming to visit us as a centre and collaborate along with our researchers. We have people coming to do PhD studies to the Centre for Cognitive Ageing and Cognitive Epidemiology and we have postdoctoral people, that is scientists who finished their PhD but are not quite yet at the senior level coming to do their work with us as well. People outside of the University of Edinburgh are now travelling to the centre using it as a platform for their own scientific collaboration and advancement. Our research aims in the centre are really important for society today. It's not just that they're abstruse academic things, they are really attacking some of the big practical problems that society is facing. First of all, there are between a half and three quarters of a million people in the country with dementia and I think everybody recognises that if we're going to do anything about that we've got to understand how the brain ages before people get to the stage of dementia. So in the Centre for Cognitive Ageing and Cognitive Epidemiology we focus on the early stages of brain ageing, the early stages of people starting to lose their thinking skills like memory, like reasoning, like the way they organise their thinking. So we study large groups of people who are getting into old age, who are healthy, who are still staying at home, but whom we know are starting to decline in their thinking skills. And we're trying to understand why some people are weathering that better than other people. So just to summarize that, I think it's really important to tackle the problem of cognitive aging in its more advanced state by focusing on the earlier stages. Because when we understand that, we'll understand better about how we can intervene to help people before they get to the more severe stages of cognitive aging.